will always have a dark shadow of the Marikana moment and no one can ever escape it. On the 16th of August 2012, we watch our brothers, our sons, husbands and breadwinners executed live on television as a result of a toxic collision between the state and Lon Min Mai. We thought it all came to an end when there was a shout by a white man shouting at black policemen saying cease fire as revolutionaries laid lifeless with bullets filling their bodies only to find out that our brothers who survived the first shooting were hunted down and killed and had weapons planted next to them in an attempt to portray them as violent threat. The pain of that day remained with us and it will never go away. The pain of that day gave birth to the EFF and that is why we are here today to free the hearts of the spirits that were killed on the 16th of August 2012. We are here to tell our brothers that we miss them and will continue to love them and, their, and, and in their honor we have slaughtered cows to free their spirits from the pain that visited them on that day. Symbolically, we are here today to thank the spirit of those who were slain on this land in defense of private interest and profit maximization. We have not slaughtered because we simply seek to feast, but we have slaughtered as a means of sacrifice and respect. The cows have been slaughtered here are an offering to the slain man workers of Marikana. We have slaughtered here today because it is part of our traditions to slaughter when we seek to connect with those who came before us, when we seek their guidance, wisdom, and or when we wish to offer our gratitude. The EFF is internally grateful to the mine workers because it is their sacrifice that gave birth to the this economic emancipation movement. We owe our existence to their fearlessness, an attitude of no retreat, which showed our nation that indeed the struggle for liberation had been betrayed. Comrades, the EFF will forever seek the wisdom and guidance of those who came before us because without them, we are nothing. We have therefore slaughtered here today to say to the workers who were killed here in Marikana that we still seek their guidance and their wisdom in the wars to come. We have slaughtered to appease their spirits and assure them that they did not die in vain. The sacrifice of the slain Marikana workers has given life to a new revolution in South Africa and that revolution is here in the form of the EFF. We were asked by the workers of Marikana, who included Kolan, who is here on stage, to build a political alternative before it even occurred to us that this was necessary. When I came here with Floyd Shibambo and the late Makaka, we met the workers there, and Kolan was the one who was facilitating the interaction between us and the workers. We came to show our compassion and our solidarity and our love. To our surprise, those workers were not shaken. They only asked us one thing. They said, please open a political party. We want to follow you. We want an alternative to a dead ANC. And we responded by forming the EFF. When we came here, to talk to the workers, there was no thinking, no any idea of forming a political party until these workers insisted in our presence that this marks the end of a former liberation movement and the blood that was shed here will give rise to a militant and radical organization that will rep represent the defenseless masses of our people. It was almost as if they had made a, pro a prophecy that the liberation movement will not be capable of self-correcting and had surrendered itself to capital. 
We took that mandate from those workers and began to have a consultation with activists from all over South Africa on what is to be done. Oh, it was on this day, 10 years ago, that we gathered at Uncle Tom's Hall and took a decision to form an organization that will contest political power and deliver the much needed economic freedom to our people. The delegates at Uncle Tom's Hall have had a deep appreciation that Marikana was the seed that will become this mighty organization that turns 10 years old here today. Comrades, Marikana is the home of the EFF and nothing can ever change or distort that history. We were born the moment the blood of the workers was soaked in this land. We were conceived the moment concomitant action was called against protesting workers who were characterized as cruel criminals by a man who today sits as the president of South Africa. The day Cyril Ramaphosa said, these workers are a criminals, that is the day the EFF was conceived and the day they came to kill those workers, that is the day the EFF was born. They have themselves to blame because they gave rise to this EFF, which today represent the people of Marikana unashamedly. We owe Marikana everything. And we belong to the people of this place and will never allow Marikana and the EFF to be separated. No criminal, no bully, no warlord, no self-confessed murderer can ever separate Marikana with the EFF. The EFF is Marikana and Marikana is the EFF. Whoever wants to kill us for loving the people of Marikana can do so. We will never turn away from Marikana. Every day the people of Marikana call upon us, we shall avail ourselves. Every day we miss the people of Marikana, we will go to Marikana. We require no police permission. We require no police permission. We require no soldiers permission. We require no unions permission. It is because our relationship with the workers of Marikana is a bondage in the struggle for freedom of our people. Comrades, we'll have a great celebration here. And we are celebrating those lives which were lost here all those years ago. Comrades, we have created Isibaya because to us this is a home and the center of life of the EFF. When you come in here, you find Isbaya where our people are cooking today. Why do you create Isbaya in Marikana? We create Isbaya only at home. That's why there is Isbaya in Marikana created by the EFF because Marikana is the home of the EFF. Spiritually, we come here to gather with our ancestors and engage in rituals of significance. So as a political party with deep African roots and traditions, we create this buyer here in Marikana to affirm this as our spiritual home and, we, where, and where we come from in times of joy, difficulty, and when we seek counsel. It's buyer. It's a place of safety and protection. And as the EFF, we feel safe and protected when we are here in Marikana, where the lives of our unspoken founders were taken. Comrades, in Isikosa, we say we have slaughtered as a sign of Umbulelo, which is that we are thanking the ancestors. We have mourned the lives of Marikana mine workers and we are here to drive away the dark cloud or pain that may be haunting them. And as a result, the cattle we have slaughtered are in Komo Zokubuisa. As we are celebrating homecoming of the spirit of who were the spirit of those who left us here at the Kopi on that day. We say in Isitosa 
that ubutle bendo da ubona genko muzayo meaning the beauty of a man is seen through his cows we well today we say ubutle be EFF ububona genko muzayo because we have slaughtered cows here in honor of our heroes fellow fighters we characterize our activity here in this manner because we must always remember that we are an African organization, an organization whose roots are based in tradition and culture. Marikana is our traditional home. It is a home of the destitute, the home of the abused, the home of the poorest of the poor. Comrades, the EFF was born out of mass consultation with our people. We are not an organization that arises out of the narrow ambitions of the few. We are the product of the consultation with the mine workers, the domestic workers, the garden workers, cleaners, petrol attendants, and the masses of our people. It was on the 11th of June 2013 when we issued a clarion call to economic freedom fighters and all South Africans to stand up and be counted. We observed that the political power that was transferred to the black majority through inclusive election in 1994 was never transformed into economic freedom as the majority of Africans remain on the margins of society as unemployed, underemployed or discriminated against in their employment while those who held economic, social and political power since the colonial period continue to enjoy economic, social and professional privileges. The National People's Assembly on what is to be done observed that political power in the control of the post-1994 government is meaningless because it has, not, it has not been used to win the battles that began during the wars of disposition. Instead, the post-1994 government has played an active role in reproducing the inequalities and the imbalances of the past by not doing anything to transform the economy, opting for superficial changes through black economic empowerment instead. The brave economic freedom fighters who heeded the clarion call to stand up observed that the post-1994 government has weakened its capacity to provide services, drive economic growth and development. Virtually, all functions the state should perform are being performed by the private sector and corporations that often collude to suck from the state the little resources at its disposal. The quality of services provided by the post-1994 government is less than satisfactory owing to the contract and tender system adopted by the government, which often leaves private individuals empowered and disempowering communities. It is that historic assembly that determined that the EFF will be a radical, leftist, anti-capitalist, anti-imperialist movement with an international outlook anchored by popular grassroots formations and struggling. The EFF is the vanguard of the community and worker struggles and will always be on the side of the people. The EFF will, with determination and consistency, associate with the protest movement in South Africa and will also join in the struggles that defies unjust laws. It is that assembly that determined that the EFF draws inspiration from the broad Marxist-Leninist tradition and Fanonian schools of thought in its analysis of the state, imperialism, culture, and class contradiction in every society. It was in this assembly that we resolved that our organization will be guided by seven non-negotiable cardinal pillars. And allow me, DP, to just state the few and not all seven. Expropriation of South Africa's land without compensation for equal risk restitution in use, nationalization of mines, banks, and other strategic sectors of the economy without compensation, building state and government capacity which will lead to the abolishment of tenders, free quality education, health care, houses, and sanitation, massive 
protected industrial development to create millions of sustainable jobs, including the introduction of minimum wages in order to close the wage gap between the rich and the poor, close the apartheid wage gap and promote rapid career path for Africans in their workplaces, massive development of the African economy and advocating for a move from reconciliation to justice in the entire continent. Open, accountable, corrupt, free government and society without fear of victimization by the state agencies. This is who we are and this is the DNA of the EFF, not any distortion of the EFF as a fascist or a being built on anger. The EFF is an ideologically rooted organization and those who do not appreciate this seek to deliberately distort who we are. We are an organization that brought life into parliament. We brought Marikana into parliament on our arrival because we never forgot our roots. We are an organization that fought against illicit financial flows, tax avoidance in parliament because the amount of money that is laundered out of South Africa undermines our economy. Comrade DP, I once had a union leader standing next to the COP here lying openly that there is no political party in parliament that ever spoke about illicit financial flows or tax avoidance. That was a lie to the workers. No leader must ever thrive through a lie. Leaders must always tell the truth. Whether you like the EFF or you don't like the EFF, the EFF is the only organization that went into parliament, spoke about Marikana, debated Marikana in parliament, reminded Cyril Ramaphosa that he's a murderer, reminded the ANC that they are murderers. They set order, they said we must sit down. They went to court to say to court that the ANC cannot be called a murderer. The court said they can call you a murderer. There is nothing wrong with calling the ANC murderers. That the court has declared. Every time you see a person with an ANC t-shirt, remind them that they are murderers. They killed people in Marikana. Every time a union leader lies because he wants to form a political party based on a lie, tell that leader that it's a lie. The EFF raised illicit financial flows and tax avoidance in parliament. It was the only party. It was the first party. The ANC members did not know what is illicit financial flows. They did not know what is tax avoidance. We had to run workshops for them because the EFF leads through a superior logic. Comrades, we are the EFF that has formed a labor desk. We are the EFF that has formed the gender-based violence desk, not because we want to form a union. We intervene where unions collide with the management, where unions sleep with the bosses. The EFF comes in to represent the workers. Once the matter is done, we walk away. There is no EFF that said it's going to form a union. If you belong to a union and you belong to a EFF and there is a leader who says the EFF wants to form a union, that leader is lying. We have our own labor task. And that labor task intervene where there are shortcomings of the union. We don't make people pay subscription. We don't make people pay anything. We help our people free of charge. <laughs> Comrades, we formed the gender-based violence desk because of the violence against women and children in South Africa. The only party that has got a desk 
that is dedicated and focused on fighting this new disease that is called gender-based violence. And the EFF will continue to do so without apology to anyone. We are the EFF that has marched against Johan Rupert in Stellenbosch and his own companions who have stolen our land and continue to preside over our economy as a minority at the expense of the majority. No political party, no individual has ever spoken against Johan Rupert or much to the Rupert. No political party or political leader has ever spoken about the Oppenheimers and how much they are stealing here in South Africa. No one has ever spoken about Sibanye water in the political parties except the EFF. Why? We are not in the pockets of the white monopoly capital and we are the only one and the only party that is not being controlled by white monopoly capital. Comrades, we are the only party that fought for the insourcing of the workers in Quebeca, in Johannesburg, in Tswani, in many institutions of higher learning. We are going to continue to fight for the insourcing of the workers everywhere where we find temporary workers working for the government because we don't want you to work without benefits, without pensions, without medical aid. We want every worker to be permanent with benefits. Comrades, is this EFF that has celebrated its 10th anniversary with the most vulnerable in old age homes, in orphanages and centers of disability. No organization has ever celebrated with so many old age homes and orphans. And the last one was in Mafike, where we adopted 20 children who are orphaned and we are going to take them to the best schools in Mafike and make sure they've got a better home and their lives are protected. This organization of Marikana has a history of fighting against mines which do not use their resources to uplift the community surrounding them, marching and confronting Anglo-American and never wavering on the call for the nationalization of mines. We are an organization of the selfless and sacrifice and that is what must always be known about us no one can intimidate us even those who think they can declare marikana a no-go area we are here whether they like it or not we are going to be here until very late at night Ravina. That mountain belongs to no one, it belongs to all of us because if anyone wants to own that Marikana alone, the struggle of Marikana will die a natural death. Let the struggle of Marikana be a struggle of everyone to not profit from Marikana's struggle. We don't profit from Marikana's struggle. We are going to make sure that the widows of Marikana continue to live a better life and continue to be respected by all those who must honor their commitments. Some of the widows of Marikana have come to us and said their houses are already falling. Some of them said the commitments that were made have not been received. We are going to follow up all of those things. And anyone who has profited from the Marikana widows and anyone who has stolen from the Marikana widows, all of them will be exposed in the name of Mam Bush because the honoring of the Marikana widows is the honoring of Mambush. If you respect Mambush, 
you will never undermine the widows of Marikana. Comrades, let us celebrate, let us rejoice in honor of our fallen heroes who died for the future to live here in Marikana. Many people have come to us and said, why are you not fencing that copy of Marikana as a political party? We can't fence the copy as the EFF because we want the copy to belong to everyone. Only a government can fence that copy and it will happen when the EFF takes the government of Northwest and the government of South Africa will declare this a natural a national heritage site. We'll make sure that no one tempers with that Marikana. We know the workers of Marikana want 16 August to be the workers' day. We will move it and make sure that 16 August becomes a workers' day because that is the day we saw the workers being killed in Marikana. The survivors of Marikana we will continue to support them. We will make sure that they get what is due to them and those lawyers who represent them always get our support to make sure that that is what is true to the survivors of Marikana. It is paid to them because they were injured, they were traumatized, they were abused by the government of the day. The government must pay as a government and Sir Ramaphosa must pay as an individual who encouraged the killing of our workers here in Marikan. So comrades, thank you very much for coming out in your numbers. Thank you for honoring the workers of Marikana. Thank you for not forgetting this place. Always remember the people of Marikana. Next year when we vote, you must say, my vote goes to Marikana. My vote goes to Mambush. My vote goes against those who killed the people of Marikana. Comrades, next year we are making history. Next year is 1994, repeat. You don't know 1994, majority of you. 2024 is your 1994 as the youth of South Africa. You must make sure you come out of your houses. You must make sure you come out in your numbers to restore the government of the people. To make sure that we take government from Sibanye waters back into the hands of the people. We take government from Oppenheimer back into the hands of the people. We take our government from Johan Rupert back into our people. Let us go and reclaim what belongs to us. We want a government of the people for the people because this government of the day has turned against the people. We in the EFF must be guided by discipline and commitment. Hey, Mary, my EFF kebo ma. They must say my EFF keba to bale ba sebele tsavatu. They must not say my EFF are self-seeking individuals who benefit only their families and their friends. When you are an EFF, serve the people. When they ask you, why are you serving the people? Say, I do it in the name of Mambush. I learned from the sacrifices of the Marikana workers that we must die on course. We must die saving our people. And that's what we are going to do. Let us serve the people of South Africa. Let us not be another government. Let us be a saving government. And a saving government is a caring government. And a saving government, if it calls a rally during the week, that rally must fail. Why? The people will be at work. They will not have the time to attend a rally. I'm happy 
SG that the rally was organized during the week and during the day, we don't have to say anything. The international community must ask a question. Why so many people during waking hours? The answer is simple. They are unemployed. There are no jobs because the government of the day has destroyed the economy of South Africa. Comrades, I salute you. You are coming here. It's an act of bravery. We don't want cowards in the EFF. We want fighting machine. We want committed fighters. We want fighters who work the ground. We want fighters who are ready to take government come 2024. Waza 2024, Waza. Waza 2024, Waza. Tata EFF Tata. Tata EFF Tata. How a Musha Mashodi, how a Musha Maburu, how a who left? Who right? Yamasa. Who left? Kita.